Hey everyone, and welcome to my tutorial on how to use Humata AI. Humata AI is a powerful tool that can help you understand complex PDF documents more easily. It uses artificial intelligence to read and understand PDFs, and then provides you with a variety of ways to interact with the information. This can be incredibly useful for a variety of tasks, such as research. Humata AI I can help you quickly extract key information from research papers so that you can focus on your analysis and writing and other educational materials. Humata AI can help you quickly understand contracts, reports, and other business documents. No matter what your field is, Humata AI can help you save time and be more productive. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use understand complex PDF documents. I'll cover the basics of the Humata AI interface as well as some of the most useful features for understanding PDFs. By the end of this video, you'll be able to navigate the Humata AI interface. Use Humata AI to extract key information from PDFs. Use Humata AI to answer questions about PDFs. Use Humata AI to generate summaries of PDFs. What other AI tools would you like to see me make tutorials for? I may even do a future tutorial on one of your suggestions. Whether you're a student researcher or professional, this tutorial is for you. So let's get started and learn how to use Humata AI to understand complex PDF documents more easily. How to create a Humata AI account? Before you can start using Humata AI, you'll need to create an account on their platform. To do this, head over to the Humata AI website and click on the sign up button in the top right corner. You'll be asked to enter your email address and create a password. Make sure to choose a strong password that you don't use for any other websites or services. Once you've entered your email and password, click on the Continue button. You'll be asked to provide some additional information such as your full name, last name, organization name optional, role optional, and where you heard about Humata AI. Once you've entered all of the required information, click on the Continue button to create your account. You'll receive a confirmation email from Humata AI. Click on the link in the email to verify your account. Once your account is verified, you'll be able to log in to Humata AI and start using the platform how to import data into Humata AI. Once you are created your account successfully or logged into it, click on the upload button in the top right corner of the screen. Select the data file you want to import. You can import a variety of file types, including PDF, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Humata AI offers four pricing plans, basic student, expert, and team. The basic plan is free to use and includes up to 60 free pages of usage. The student plan is $1.99 per month, the expert plan is $9.99 per month, and the team plan is $99 per user per month. We will be using the basic plan for this tutorial. If you need to use a different plan, please upgrade to the appropriate plan on the Humata AI website. To get a discount on your purchase, be sure to use our link in the description. Next, I will show you how to upload a PDF to Humata AI and process it. Click on the upload button or you can simply drag and drop the document here to upload the files. Once you've done Humata UI, I will start processing your data file. This may take a few minutes depending on the size and complexity of your file. Once your file has been processed, you will see a preview of the data in the Humata AI interface. You can now start using Humata AI to analyze your data and ask questions. Let's do it. Once the document is uploaded, I click on the Ask button. Humata AI starts processing the document and analyzing it. After a few moments, Humata AI shows me a summary of the guide and provides some example questions that I can ask about it. I can also type my own questions in the ask box. Now, I'm going to ask how can one warm up log owners before pitching a guest post? In the ask box, let's see what they respond. Wow! As you can see, Humata AI can summarize and find the information I need from the document quickly and easily. This would take a lot of time to do manually, especially if you have a large amount of data in PDFs or documents. Humata AI is a lifesaver, and one of the best things about it is that it tells me the exact page number where the text is written in the PDF. So if I want to quickly jump to a specific piece of information, I can click on the page number and Humata AI will take me right there. This is an amazing feature that saves me a lot of time and effort. Let's take another example. Let's say we want to summarize the entire PDF and get some action plans to follow up to get started. To do this, I would type in the following prompt. Summarize the whole PDF and give me some action plans to follow up to get started. Humata AI would then summarize the entire PDF for me and provide me with some action plans to follow up on. 
This is a really good chatbot because it helps us a lot when we need to find specific data in hundreds of pages of text. It is also very accurate. Let me ask Humata a more challenging question. Where in the document is the information most likely to be found? In the introduction, conclusion, headings, subheadings, etc. I'm curious to see what Humata AI has to say about this. As you can see, Humata AI highlights the information I requested and adds page numbers and sections to the text to help me track it down. This is incredibly helpful and impressive. Now, let's say we want to test Humata AI with another document. To do this, we need to go back to the home page. I'm clicking on the Humata logo to do that. Now I'm on the home page, I can click on the upload button to upload another document. Let's proceed with it. Now that I have successfully uploaded my lecture PDF, I can see that Humata.io only allows me to upload one file with the basic free plan. If I want to upload more documents, I need to upgrade to a paid plan. If you are a student, I highly recommend trying out, but be aware that you may need to upgrade to a paid plan if you need to upload more than one file. To test more documents with this tool, I obviously need to create a new account. I'll speed up the process to show you what it's like once the account is created. Okay now, I have created a new account you can do the same if you want to try it out and test it out. I'm showing you this so that you can see how easy it is to use. Now, I'm going to click on the upload button and upload a file. I'm uploading my notes directly into Humata AI. Now it's time to ask questions from this chatbot. For that, we need to click on ask. As you can see, the same interface will reopen. This time, I'm going to ask the chatbot, can you use linear regression to predict my performance on future exams based on my study notes? Let's see what it responds. As you can see, Humata AI can be a lifesaver for students, especially those who are short on time to prepare for exams. It can be like having a master teacher at your disposal who is always ready to answer your questions. The more questions you ask, the more you will learn and the better prepared you will be for your exams. Let's say you're stuck on a particular topic and can't find the information you need in your documents or study notes. With a paid student plan on Humata AI, you can upload your files and ask questions about them. This can save you a lot of time and help you focus on preparing for your exams. I highly recommend that students choose the student plan link in the description below. I may have a special discount available, so check it out today. For example, if you are an expert who wants to extract insights from financial data such as market reports and company filings, Humata AI can be a lifesaver. This information can be used to make better investment decisions and develop more accurate financial forecasts. Let me show you how Humata AI can be a lifesaver for you. I can upload a file called Analysis of Financial Statements and then click on the Ask button to ask Humata AI any questions I want. For example, I can ask what are the company's industry trends in the document. Humata AI is incredibly fast and accurate. It gave me all the information I needed in seconds. I could have spent hours manually searching for the same information. Humata AI is a game changer for anyone who needs to extract insights from data quickly and accurately. I highly recommend it. Here's another example. I can ask Humata AI can you give me current trends mentioned in the document. Humata AI will then provide me with a list of the current trends mentioned in the document. This is an incredibly valuable tool for anyone who needs to stay up to date on the latest trends in their industry. It can save me hours of time and help me to make better decisions. I am grateful for Humata AI and the time it saves me. I highly recommend it to anyone who needs to extract insights from data quickly accurately. They are a medical researcher studying a new drug for the treatment of cancer. They have collected a large data set of patient records, including data on the patient's demographics, medical history, and response to the drug. They can use Humata AI to analyze this data set to identify trends and patterns in the data. For example, identify the patient characteristics that are most likely to predict a good response to the drug. This information could be used to select patients for clinical trials or to personalize treatment plans. Identify any side effects that are associated with the drug. This information could be used to develop strategies, to mitigate side effects, or to identify patients who are at high risk for developing them. Compare the effectiveness of the new drug to other cancer treatments. This information could be used to guide treatment decisions and to help patients and their families make informed choices about their care. Humata AI can also help them to generate new hypotheses about the drug and its mechanism of action. For example, they could use Humata AI to identify genes that are expressed differently in patients who respond well to the drug compared to patients who do not respond well. 
This information could then be used to develop new biomarkers for predicting response to the drug, or to develop new drugs that target the same genes. If you have any questions or problems during your journey, please ask them in the comments section below. We are happy to help you overcome any challenges you face. Your support is important to us, so if you like our content, please subscribe to our channel. Liking our videos and clicking the bell icon will ensure that you receive regular updates from us. We also value your input and interests. If you have a particular topic that you are passionate about and would like to see a detailed video on, please tell us. We are always looking for new ideas and feedback on the content that we create. Thank you for being a part of our community. We look forward to helping you on your journey of learning and exploration.